So let's start with our first chapter for second PUC Sanskrit Purana Bharatam, which means that our country Bharata as described in the Puranas. Coming to the first stanza, Uttaram yat samudrasya himavad dakshinam chayat, varsham tad bharatam namam yatriyam bharati praja. Which means that the land, the varsham, varsham here means land, which exists in the north to the oceans and south of the Himalayas is called Bharata. And people who live here are called Bharati Praja, which means the people belonging to Bharat land. Coming to the second one. Bharanasya Praja Nam Vai Munir Bharata Uchyate Nirupta Vachanamcha Eva Varsham Tad Bharatam Sprutam which means that Manu is called Bharata because of his efficiency in the maintenance and nourishments of the subjects. Now, who is Manu? Manu is a position who protects people who start the new Yugas. As we know, there are four Yugas, right? Now, whenever a new Yuga is about to start, there is something that occurs called the Pralaya, which means flood, which vanishes out everything that exists on the earth. So, for the starting of the new yoga, we need some organisms to be present. So, Manu is the position or the king who protects all these living organisms for the starting or the beginning of the next yoga. So, Manu is the protector of the people and he is called Bharata. So, that subcontinent where Bharata lived is called Bharata. And also, the second line tells us about the Nirupta Vachana, which means how the word Bharata was derived. So, Bharata is actually derived by two words, Bha and Rata. So, Bha here means enlightenment, whereas Rata means given. So, together this word Bharata means giving knowledge to the entire world. So, our country gives knowledge to the entire world and hence it is called Bharata. Coming to the third shloka. Itaha swargascha mokshascha madhyaschantascha gamyate na khalu yantra martyanam bhumau karma vidhiyate which means that it is from here that people go to four different places that is swarga, moksha, madhya and anta. Okay, swarga as we know it's heaven, moksha that is no rebirth and madhya is between that that is not neither heaven nor hell and as we know anta means naraka or hell so the next line tells us that it is this land or only this land the works done on only in on the only land of india or bharata gives people the opportunity to go into these four different places that is swarga moksha madhya and anta coming to the fourth stanza that is Bharata Syasya Varshasya Navadedan Nibodhata Samudranta Rita Gayasta Tomagamya Parasparampara Parasparam, which means what? Understand, we should understand there are nine different divisions of this Bharat Varsha or Bharat land. Okay, our land India has nine divisions. Samudranta Rita, which means that they are separated, these nine lands are separated by different oceans. And it is impossible to traverse from one to another. Which means that we should means we should understand that going through these lands is also possible only through these waters. Right? Which means Asya Bharat Varshasya Navabhedhan Nibodaya. We should understand that this India is divided, this land of Bharata is divided into nine lands. And Te Samudran Antarita. To Parasparam Agamya Gyeyaha means we can traverse from one to another. So it is possible actually to traverse from one to another land. So coming to the next shloka. That is Indra Dvipaha Kasheruman. Indra Dvipaha Kasheruman Tamravano Gavastiman. Nagadvipastatha Saumya Gandharvastha Varunaha. So these are the nine divisions or these are the eight divisions actually as we can count. First is Indra, Indra Dvipa, first island. Second is Kasheruman. Third is Tamravarna, Gabastiman, Naga Dvipa, Saumya, Gandharva and Varuna. These are the eight divisions. 
ओके सो व्हाट इज द नाइन्थ वन लेट्स सी इन द नेक्स्ट श्लोक दैट इज अय तो नवम अस्तेषाम द्वीप संसार द्वीप सागर समृत योजना नाम सहस्रम तो द्वीपोयम दक्षिणोत्तरा विच मीन्स दैट दिस इज द लैंड दिस इज द लैंड भारत विच इज द नाइन्थ आईलैंड ऑन विच वी लिव राइट दिस भारत इज द नाइन्थ लैंड विच इज सराउंडेड बाय द ओशन ओके सो फ्रॉम नॉर्थ नॉर्थ टू साउथ दिस भारत इज अराउंड ऑफ मेजर इन टू सम थाउजेंड योजना Now, what is yojana? Yojana is about you know round up equal to some twelve kilometers. Okay, so this shloka tells us that this India or Bharat is the ninth island which we were talking about, and which measures from north to south or vertically as thousand yojanas. Now, coming to the next one, Mahendra Malaya ha, Sarya Mahendra Malaya ha. सर्योग एंड सुप्तिमान श्रुत पर्वत विंध्यश्च पारियात्रश्च इत्यते कुल पर्वत सो दीज आर द नेम्स फॉर आर कुल पर्वत विच आर द सेवेन माउंटेन रेंजेस महेंद्र मलय सय शुक्तिमान रिक्ष पर्वत विंध्या पारियात्र सो दीज आर द सेवेन माउंटेन रेंजेस ना कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट वन विच इज द टॉकिंग अबाउट रिवर्स गंगा सरस्वती सिंधु चंद्रभागा तथा परा यमुना शत्रु वितस्ते रावती कुहु जो द रिवर्स आर गंगा सरस्वती सिंधु चंद्रभागा यमुना शतद्रु वितस्था इरावती कुहु एंड ओके सो दीज आर द रिवर्स नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ द रिवर्स विश्वस्य मात सर्वा सर्वाश्च एव महाफला तथा नद्य स्वप्रकाशा शतशोथ सहस्रश विच मीन्स दैट दीज रिवर्स आर द मदर्स ऑफ द यूनिवर्स विच आर बिग बेनिफिट्स फॉर अस राइट सो दीज रिवर्स आर द मदर्स ऑफ द यूनिवर्स विश्व मातरा सर्वा ऑफ द होल यूनिवर्स एंड दीज ऑल हंड्रेड्स ऑफ रिवर्स दैट इज सर्व प्रकाशा शतोशत स्व प्रकाशा मीन्स दे आर इंडिपेन्डेंट दीज हंड्रेड्स ऑफ थाउजंड ऑफ रिवर्स आर इंडिपेन्डेंट दे आर नॉट डिपेन्डेंट ऑन अस बट वी ह्यूमेन्स ऑफ वी लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर श्योरली डिपेन्डेंट ऑन दीज रिवर्स कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट वन तास्तु नद्य सरस्वत सर्वा गंगा समुद्र विश्व मातर सर्वा जगत पाप हरा स्मृता विच मीन्स दैट तास्तु नद्य सरस्वत दीज रिवर्स आर ऑल सरस्वती एंड गैंगस विच फ्लो इन टू द सी विच मीन्स वॉट दीज ऑल रिवर्स आर सब रिवर्स और द ट्रिब्यूटरीज ऑफ द रिवर्स सरस्वती एंड गंगा विच फ्लो इन टू द सी दीज आर द मदर्स ऑफ द यूनिवर्स एंड डिस्ट्रॉयर्स ऑफ द सिंस ऑफ द वर्ल्ड राइट Yeah, that that is only repeated two times, as you can see here. Now coming to the next shlok, that is Kapile Gogrehe Somethi the Chalabu Sangite Mrutyanjaya Krod the the Vasuke Siddha Keshwari. So these are the pilgrimage places or the holy places in Bharat. Which is the first one is Kapila Tirtha, second is Gogra Tirtha, Soma Tirtha, Alabu Tirtha, Mrityunjay Tirtha, Krodha Tirtha, Vasuki Tirtha, and Siddha Keshwara Tirtha. Next, coming to Pandyascha, Kerala Scha, Eva Cholo, Kulastha Scha, Eva Cha, Suketu, Setuka, Setuka, Moshi Kascha, Eva. क्षपणा वनवासिका विच मीन्स दट दीज आर द पीपल हू लिव इन दिस लैंड ऑफ भारत विच आर पांड्या केरला चोला कुल्या सेतुका मूषिका क्षपणा एंड वनवासिका आर द डिफरेंट और वेरियस पीपल हू लिव इन भारत नेक्स्ट कमिंग टू ज्ञेय तद्भारत वर्षम सर्वकर्म फलप्रदम 
अत्र कर्मणि कुर्वन्ति त्रिविधानि तु नारद व्हिच मींस दैट आवर लैंड भारत वी शुड अंडरस्टैंड दैट आवर लैंड भारत इज द लैंड व्हिच गिव्स अस द कर्म फल फॉर एवरी कर्म व्हिच गिव्स अस द कर्म फल फॉर एवरी कर्म और द फ्रूट फॉर एवरी कर्म एज पीपल परफॉर्म थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ कर्म राइट अत्र कर्मणि कुर्वन्ति द कर्म व्हिच डू व्हिच वी डू ऑन दिस लैंड त्रिविधानी तो नारद विच आर द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ कर्म राइट नो व्हाट आर दोस थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ कर्म दे आर नित्य कर्म नैमित्तिक कर्म एंड काम्य कर्म सो नित्य कर्म आर द कर्म व्हिच वी डू रेगुलरली वेयर एज नैमित्तिक आर द वर्क डन फॉर सम रीजन वेयर एज द काम्य आर द वर्क्स डन फॉर द अचीवमेंट ऑफ समथिंग और समथिंग फॉर वी विश राइट एज इन इन फ्यूचर आई वांट टू बिकम दिस or this is my career so for that i am going to study now so we are studying for a wish that is kamya karma and if we are studying daily then that is also anitya karma okay now next shloka tells us about tat phalam bhujyate cha eva bhoga bhumi sh anukrama bharate tu krutam karma shubham va shubham cha eva so what does this say so how long are we going to have the fruit of this karma whatever we did so people reap the fruit whether it's good or bad of their deeds on this land which is prosperous right so bhog bhumi our india or our bharat is the bhog bhumi or the bhumi where people we get the fruit of whatever they have did the karma whether it is good or bad okay according to the order if it is good karma they'll get a good fruit or vice versa now next coming to afalakshayam viprabhujyate anyatra jantu bhehi adhyapi devah ichanti janma bharat bhutale which means that if any act is whether auspicious in or inauspicious is performed in bharat the fruit of that is being perishable being of a perishable nature is enjoyed by the creatures so each and every karma's fruit is enjoyed by the person who does that karma on this land and even today that is even today adhyapi devah ichanti that is even today the lords desire celestials or gods desire to take birth in our bharat नेक्स्ट आयु प्रमाण लभते ही राजन द्वीपेशु सर्वेशु नरो मयोक्तम कृत्वा शुभम कर्म तु भारतेस मिन द्वीपह सर्वेशु नराह प्रयांति व्हिच मींस दैट ओ किंग द लॉन्गेटिविटी ऑफ पीपल इन ऑल द आइलैंड्स इज एज डिजायर्ड बाय मी सो दिस इज अ कन्वर्सेशन दैट इज ओ किंग द लॉन्गेटिविटी ऑफ द पीपल इन ऑल द आइलैंड्स इज आल्सो डिजायर्ड बाय इज एज आई डिजायर इट right by doing good deeds in the land of bharat the people will make progress in their lives so our land bharat is a land wherein people make the progress in their lives by doing good deeds okay so thank you and we are done with the chapter here